Hey everybody, today we're gonna talk about seven different levels of Mario songs and we'll see which one you are at. So for the first level, we're gonna do the main theme. We're just gonna take the very, very first part of it. So it's gonna be on the open first string and we've got to the first fret of the second string, back to the open first string, third fret of the first string, and then the open third string. So let's put that together. If you wanted to get fancy, you could add in the jump sound at the end, which is just a slide up. You can pick any of the strings. I'm gonna do the first string. Level number two, we're gonna do the underground theme. This one's really neat because it's just a bunch of octaves moving around. So we're gonna start on the 10th fret of the fourth string. And we're gonna go to the 13th fret of the second string. And we're gonna pick them uh, one at a time. And we're gonna take that same shape, move it down to the seventh fret and the 10th fret. So we got. And then we're gonna go up to the eighth fret and the 11th fret. And we're doing the same fourth string, second string the whole time. And then the whole thing again. And then we're gonna move to the fifth string and the third string. So we're gonna go on the eighth fret of the fifth string and the 10th fret of the third string, the same alternating. Move that same shape down to five and seven. And then up to six and eight. Let's put that together. And that's it. We do two times of the first one, two times of the second one. That's it. Level three. This is the theme from Steam Gardens. Bonus points if you knew this one ahead of time. So this one is kind of E minor pentatonic based. We're gonna go from the second fret of the fourth string to the open third string, second fret of the third string, and then we're gonna slide from two to four two times. Then we're gonna go to the third fret of the second string, to the second fret of the third string, to the fourth fret of the third string. If you have a whammy bar, you can do a whammy bar dive here. So we got. And then we kind of repeat the same first part. And then we're gonna go five on the second string to three on the second string to four on the third string with the whammy bar dive. Let's put that all together so far. Then we go to the same uh, as the beginning. And then to end it, we go on the third string to zero, to two on the fourth string, and then four, zero, two. Okay. And then after that, to connect the two sections, he does that classic surf tremolo sliding thing, the little fall. So we're just gonna go on the sixth string. You're gonna pick as fast as you can and just let your hand fly down. It doesn't need to be super accurate. You just need the motion. And just go as quick as you can and it's for one bar. And then we kick back into, into the beginning again. And then everything repeats just like we did the first time. So let's put that together. Feel free to throw in any extra dips with the whammy bar as you feel necessary.
next level, we're going to talk about Jump Up Superstar. A lot of this is based around uh, our E flat major scale, and we're going to play it up between the 8th and the 11th fret. There's some optional sliding into notes that you can do, or just leave it out if you want. It's going to start on the 10th fret of the 4th string, going to the 8th fret of the 3rd string, back to the 10th fret of the 4th string. And then we're going to go between the 11th fret, 9th fret, and the 8th fret of the 2nd string. So we just walk it down, walk back up. And then we do that again. And then we get to do it again two times in a row. And then we're going to go to the 10th fret of the 3rd string, back to the 8th fret of the 2nd string. And then we kind of repeat the beginning. And then this part's a little different. We're going to go to the 11th fret of the 2nd string, and then go to the 8th fret, 10th fret, 11th fret of the 1st string. And then to the 10th fret of the 1st string. Eighth fret of the first string. So it kind of goes up and then back down. If you wanted, you could add a slide there. Then to end it, we're going to go to the 11th fret of the second string, to the eighth fret of the third string, 10th fret of the fourth string, seventh fret of the third string, eighth fret of the second string, eighth fret of the third string. So. Let's put that whole thing together. I'd love to add a ton of vibrato to this to mimic the singer that's singing it in the original recording. next level we're going to do is the underwater theme. So this one starts with a D major scale with a little chromatic note. So we're going to start on the fourth string and we're going to go 0, 2, 4. Then we're going to go to the third string, 0, 2, 3. And then to the open second string and we're going to go da 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 on the open second string. And then we go to the open third string to lead us right into the open first string. It's a bit of a tough jump, but you'll get it. Fourth fret, back to the open, so fourth fret of the second string. Then we have a little scale run on the third string, 0, 2, and then second string, 0, 1, 3. And then back to the open first string, fourth fret of the second string, 1, 0 on the first string. Then our open third string leads us to the third fret of the second string. Second fret, back to the third fret, and then we have another scale run. Zero, two, zero, one, two, three. Okay. And then back to the open third string, first string, open, uh, first string, first fret, to the open first string. Okay. Then we have the open third string jumping an octave to the third fret of the first string. Did that two extra times. And then three, five, three, one, 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 three, one, zero. Second fret of the third string. Open second string. First fret of the first string. Zero, zero. So three of them, zero, zero, zero. And then zero on the third string and finish on the first fret of the second string. It's a bit of a tricky one, but you'll get it. Let's do it slow. 
The next level we're going to do is star power. This one really takes it up a notch, So, but you'll get it. It has a couple of different techniques here. I like to play this one just with my fingers. If you want to do picking fingers, that's totally cool too. It's based around two chords. We're going to have the seventh fret of the third string and the eighth fret of the first string. That's the first chord. I like to use these fingers. You use whatever you want. Then it goes to this chord, the fifth fret of the third string to the seventh fret of the first string. Together, it sounds a little crunchy, but it sounds awesome in context. So what I like to think of this as the low note and the high note, and we'll play it together sometime. So it's going to start with it together three times in a row. And then it's the low note, low, high, high, low, high, low, high. Low, high, high, low, high, low, high. And then the nice part is, once you get that, you just repeat it for the second chord. And the tricky part with this is how fast it is. It really moves. So there you go. Start slow and build that one up. Hey everyone, welcome to the seventh level of our Mario licks. Uh, it's a good thing I had three lives to start because I messed that last lick up. So uh, I only have two left, so I better play it right this time. Uh, this is the level complete theme. It's one of my favorites. You're gonna love it. Let's jump in. So this one is a really great arpeggio and really awesome if you're into like sweet picking or anything like that. It starts with a C major arpeggio, but we're starting on a G note. So kind of like a second inversion C arpeggio. So it starts on the third fret of the sixth string, going to the third fret of the fifth string, up to the seventh fret. It's big reach. You don't have to hold both. You just can shift your hand over. And then on strings four, three, and two, we just have five, five, five. And I just use my one finger and I roll. Um, if you want to split it up, that's totally fine. And then we do three on the first string, back to five on the second string. So let's put that together. Then we go to an A flat major arpeggio that's going to be on the fourth fret of the sixth string. We're going to go four to eight. And then six, six, five, four, four. And then back to that five on the second string. And then I want you to remember that shape because we're just gonna move that up two frets. Start on the sixth string. So we got six to ten. And then ten, uh, eight, eight, seven, six, six. Okay, and we don't go back down this time. Then you're going to make a B flat chord. Uh, this is your F shape that's moved up. So we have the six, six, seven, eight little bar with your pointer finger. We're going to go and then move that shape up two frets to have a C major chord. So we got and I just slide that up. No need to reposition it. You just lift, shift, push down. So that's it. That's all you need for, for this. Uh, for this level complete theme. Let's try it all the way through one time, nice and slow. I was doing all down picks, 
but you can get creative. The big thing is, especially as you start going across all those strings, you make it one motion down. So not a single pick, single pick. It's kind of like a sweep pick across, but a nice, nice and uh, relaxed all the way across. That'll really help smooth this one out. So there you go. That's seven different levels of the Mario theme. Which level were you at? Which level are you working on? Let us know in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Woohoo!